All right, today we're gonna teach you how to put on the Koval glass H2O. This is a hydrophobic glass product. It strengthens the surface of the glass by up to 10 times. Uh, it's gonna work like Rain-X, and it's also gonna provide you the ability to use your windshield wipers to remove paint in the case of uh, somebody throwing paint balloons at you. This is the product itself. We've shook this for about a minute. We'll shake this again. We're gonna clean it with Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. We're gonna use Scott lint-free shop towels. You take a little microfiber cloth. All right, we're gonna use a standard glass cleaner you can pick up anywhere to clean this windshield. All right, so let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start by cleaning the windshield. I like to let this sit on here for a minute to loosen up any debris that may be on the windshield and give it a chance to penetrate. Now I'm just taking a regular Scott lint-free shop towel is what I'm going to use to clean the windshield with. We'll start at the top. Make sure we do a thorough job of cleaning this, pre-cleaning this before we get to it with the magic eraser. See, we got most of the dirt off. Let's do the other side. All right, now we need to open up the grain of the glass. By doing this, we're gonna use a melamine sponge. This is a uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Simply gonna take some of the cleaner and wet that down a little bit. And then we're gonna go for a squeaky clean. Do the other side real quick. The squeaking sound you're hearing is exactly the sound we're looking for when you're cleaning the windshield with the magic eraser. All right, now we've completed the cleaning process here. You can see we've opened up the grain of the glass, we've pulled all the dirt out of the grain of the glass with this. Okay, this is a 
you take a little microfiber cloth and just lightly buff everything off. Make sure we don't have any excess glass cleaner stuck around the edges. And just kind of make sure there's no dust, lint or debris in here. All right, now that we've removed all the little dust, lint, anything that may be left here on the surface of the glass between uh, cleaning it and getting to it with the product. Now I'll shake this up for, oh, a minute, minute and a half. I pre-shook this so that we didn't have to video the whole process. We want to make sure that we get the nanoparticles in this glass clean, it's glass H2O, um, it's fully suspended. If not, you're not getting them in there and they, they won't begin to interlock. And once again, I'm gonna go right back to a uh, lint-free shop towel. And we're actually gonna use this to be our applicators. So I'll just fold this up a little bit. And I'm gonna pour a pretty liberal amount. I'm just gonna saturate it really well. And then just using a circular motion, I'll start here in the center of the windshield. I'm not applying any pressure to it, I'm just simply getting the surface wet. You don't have to work the product in, it just has to be applied wet. So we're getting a nice even wet coat over the whole surface of the windshield using a little overlap. As you can see, we got the whole surface of the windshield wet here. And we'll go back over to the other side and do it. Now the manufacturer suggests three to five seconds of letting this cure. However, for what we need to do, we need to let it cure a little longer. So we're gonna let it just about completely dry on here. And if we have a problem with buffing it off, um, we'll just apply a little bit more to reactivate it. Now this dry time will vary a little bit in temperature and humidity. Uh, higher humidities, higher temperatures are definitely gonna decrease how long it takes to dry. The, uh, the first video I did, we let it dry for approximately five to six minutes. Um, this, as you can see, is already, already curing up. So we just simply take our microfiber and we begin buffing it off to a clear shine. Like I said, if, if you have any trouble getting this off, just simply apply a little bit more of the material and it will reactivate this and it makes it much easier to come off.
And there it is. The windshield's treated. And just take a last inspection, make sure we've got everything off. But this windshield's ready for whatever you want to throw at it. Just that easy.